Oh, Suzanne, if anyone is out there that can hear this, that has you. This is hilarious. I can't believe he's not in the pokey yet, like I was telling you guys earlier. Barry Morphew has been taken into custody. Again, this according to our news partners down in the Springs, KXRM. The charges include first-degree murder and tampering with evidence. Oh, Suzanne, if anyone is out there that can hear this, that has you, please, we'll do whatever it takes to bring you back. We love you. We miss you. Your girls need you. If I prepared a statement, it would be at least coherent, and it would <laughs> deliver a message to a person, not to every person. I wouldn't say I, they, you, we. I mean, this is all over the board. No questions asked. However much they want, I will do whatever it takes to get you back. Honey, I love you. I want you back so bad who he's talking to keeps changing and kind of non sequiturs. So it feels to me like he hasn't quite worked out who his audience is for this. And that concerns me. Throughout this nearly year long investigation into his wife's disappearance, Morphew has maintained his innocence. He's confused about who to address and he's not sure should it be a hostage story, should it be a runaway story. And there's eye blocking. We see this little eye flutter when he's saying, I want you back. But again, Barry Morphew has been arrested, charged with first degree murder. He says, anyone, you, will, we, your, they, I, and you. This is all within 26 seconds. He uses just about every pronoun that there is in this whole thing. And Barry Morphew arrested in the disappearance of his wife, Suzanne Morphew, nearly a year ago. May 10th of 2020 is when she was last seen. However much they want. I will do whatever it takes to get you back. Honey, I love you. He knows what's happened. And I'll bet you a hundred bucks that when they're out searching for her, he's with them. He's in the search party looking too. And I bet he's not very interested. Tampering with evidence is one of the major charges here, along with first degree murders.